Welcome to the channel. My name is Doug. My name is Ashley. And we live out in the country. We like to go metal detecting as a family and we have been using an old Discovery 2200 metal detector. Um, it was something that we picked up off the side of the road for free and it worked pretty good but it was missing the battery cover, it was missing some parts and um, it uses 9 volt batteries which mm -hmm. cost a lot of money. We had to keep buying batteries for it. Um, we were just ready for an upgrade. Yeah. So we decided to go Dewalt 20 volt metal detector and you guys are probably saying, what? <laughs> I know this isn't clickbait, but this thing is epic. And now this thing is one of kind custom made. We made this to use and run off our Dewalt 20 volt batteries. You guys know how much we love our Dewalt tools and these 20 volt batteries have been <laughs> awesome. So we converted our old Discovery 2200 metal detector to run off the Dewalt batteries. We made our own Dewalt metal detector. Now, this isn't sponsored by Dewalt and this isn't made by Dewalt, but this is kind of a tribute to them and their tools. So I hope that's okay. Um, and we're going to show you guys exactly how we put this together. And we don't have to buy 9 volt batteries anymore. No more batteries. We're just going to charge them up and... It's awesome. Yeah. There it is. So as you can see, it's still the Discovery 2200 inside with some minor alterations. Mm -hmm. What do you think? How did it come out? It's awesome. Better than I expected. So what do you guys say? Let's go out, try the thing out, and see how it works. something six or seven inches down. I'm gonna find a better signal. Okay. This says two inches. So enjoy it while you guys can because this thing's probably gonna get beat up and dirty. But right now <laughs> I'm it's afraid to use it. fresh and clean. Let's see what we got. Two inches down. Got it. That's really boring. Oh, it's starting to rain. We might have to take a quick break and get out of the rain. So I would say this is really a success. Um, this thing is awesome. We love it. It looks so cool. And we're the only ones. One of a kind. In this whole world. Ashley, Ashley just said, this was Ashley's idea, really, believe it or not. She was online looking, saying, do they make a, a rechargeable metal detector? And there was nothing. And she said, like, oh, that would be cool if you could make one that ran off the Dewalt. Like, why doesn't Dewalt make a metal detector? Yeah, and it'd then be I, so easy for them to do that. And then it got me thinking, and I said, we can do that. So, if you want to see how we made it, we're going to play that right now. We are starting with this. This is our base unit. This is our metal detector. It's a Discovery 2200 that we found on the side of the road in a junk pile, and it works. Yeah, we've been using it for a year now, and it's been awesome. So our goal is to convert this to run off a DeWalt 20 volt battery, and that would give us a longer lasting metal detector and also an easier to charge metal detector and we won't have to keep buying 9 volt batteries. We always have Dewalt batteries on the charger so it just makes sense mm -hmm. to convert this over. So I'm going to start by taking it apart and uh, seeing how it works. It takes two 9 volt batteries so my guess is that it's running off 18 volts um, but from using my multimeter and testing the different connections where the batteries go um, it is 
it looks like it also has, it needs 9 volts and 18 volts. That might be tricky, so I have to look at the board. But we're going to take it apart and see if we can make this into a Dewalt 20 volt tool. Now, I have been staring at this thing, trying to figure out how to get it apart, and it has been stumping me, and then I realized that this whole front faceplate actually is a sticker, and I think there's screws under here and under here. On either side of these, I can feel the indents a little bit. So I have to try to pry this up without ruining it. Yeah. So there's the screw, and there's one on the other side too. Okay. There it is. That's better. Okay, we figured this out and this is epic. So right now it is running off the Dewalt 20 volt battery. I got it on the positive and negative. Now the 20 volt battery is actually an 18 volt battery, which is perfect because this is designed to run on 18 volts, two 9 volt batteries. So what I discovered is, and you can see I'm still using a 9 volt battery and I'll show you why. Don't touch. So this is what I discovered after doing some testing is that the batteries are wired in series so you get the 18 volts. So this outside one, let me point with this. This outside red wire is the positive, this one's the negative, that's the 18 volts. We don't have to connect uh, this one. So just nine volts going into here and then connecting to the ground to the negative here. So we essentially have two circuits going on, an 18 volt, a nine volt, and a common ground. And it looks like it's fully functional. I don't want to flip it over because the wires are delicate, but the screen is on and I did check it and everything's working. And it works. Perfect. So with this in mind, we do need a nine volt circuit to get it to fully function. So I'm gonna buy a couple parts that should get that done. In the meantime, I think we're gonna start stripping down the detector because we know this is a feasible idea now. We're gonna remove the stickers, we're gonna clean them thoroughly, we're gonna take the coil off. Yeah, this has to be clean, it's all muddy. We're gonna take this armrest off and we're gonna get ready for paint we're going to be painting it. DeWalt colors. DeWalt yellow. So yeah, let's and get... this is, all the black stuff is staying black. Yeah, it's going to look epic. So let's start stripping it down. So here's the shell of the metal detector that we have totally cleaned up and off. Um, I repaired a crack that was in it. It was just a fine crack, but I filled it in with some epoxy and sanded it down. So that's why you might see that. So now we have to make a, a, a holder for the battery. We need a place to connect the DeWalt battery to the detector, and I'm gonna be doing it pretty close to this area. What I did was I picked up this. Here's an old beat up DeWalt drill. I got it online, it's used, it doesn't work. It was for parts, and it was a cheap, cheap price. So I grabbed it, and I'm gonna be using this as the battery connection. I'm gonna be cutting it off and installing it kind of in there like that. All right, that's simple. All right, so this is pretty easy. Um, it looks like we can just pop these out. 
and we'll have the empty shell. I can cut this off. Just trying to lay it out. I want it to be kind of in flush to there, like all the way in, but I want it level like this. It's like peeling a potato. Uh, it's like really mm. glued on. I think I can get it. I didn't know you had the camera. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's kind of how it's gonna. It's cool. I'm trying to keep it with the. Yeah, like that. Well, what do you guys think? I am happy with how this is coming out. I've been chipping away at this for a long time, just trying to get it right. And I am happy with that. So there's the profile. There's where the battery will go. And I think that's looking really good. I'll try to show you the inside. Get some light in there. There it is. It's screwed together and I put a hole in it. I drilled a hole to pull the wires through. Now I'm going to just solder some wires on to, to extend it in to the into the casing more so I can hook it up easier. It is all dry and it looks really good. It's a little messy, but it's, it's hard. Here it is complete. I'm not looking for perfection, but I think it looks pretty good. It's hard to get sanded. There was a couple of air bubbles, but I'm not too worried about it. It was really hard to get this smoothed out down here. Got a little carried away and I actually put some body filler on there, like a Bondo, like car body filler. And I filled in some of the imperfections. As you can see, there's still a lot of pits in it. But little by little, we're getting there. Okay guys, so I've been working on the metal detector and I got it all painted up. It looks so good. So I looked around and this is the best I could find was a marigold spray paint. I had a gloss finish, so I bought some matte clear to help soften it up a little bit because I didn't want a high gloss finish. And I've been working on this. It looks so good. Ready for the reveal? Look at these. This looks so epic. I would have preferred a slightly more matte finish. This is kind of satin, and that's the high gloss with the matte over it. You can kind of see here's the back side of it. And there's gray here because you won't see any tape over the screw holes. So I'm ready to put this back together and this is um, something else that I picked up was a DC converter and what this does is, uh, this is for cars, but it does 12 volts in, 9 volts out. Well, even though we're running 18 volts, this can work and it'll still drop it to 9 volts. Uh, it's still in the safe range. So I'm gonna be using that to get our nine volt side and the battery direct to get our 18 volt side. So first I'm gonna solder this all up and then I'm gonna be putting it in here and um, putting it all back together, hopefully. Good? Yep. Basically, that's just providing our 18 volt uh, right here, 18 volt direct and, and nine volt circuits that we needed to run the board. I don't have much glue left in here. And It is all back together and looking good. Final step is the sticker.
Remember. How's it right there? I don't know if that's straight, but it looks good. It's just a thick metal iron plate thing. Yeah, really thick. Can. What's that? A washer or something. A round piece with bumps on this side. Cool. Pull tab. I think we need the big shovel. Yeah. Here's the moment of truth. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> I was not expecting that. It's like a decorative shelf bracket. That is cool. What is it? Yeah. Whoa. I thought it was going to be like a fence post or something. I am so glad you didn't break that, prying that out. I know. We're going well, to have to be strong. We're going to have to be more careful. It's like you don't expect this stuff. Guys, can you believe? Oh, wait, there's just, there's text on it. We just pulled this up. Out of the ground here. That's crazy. Ah, uh, so Grand Rapids, Michigan. Hmm. Okay, you guys are the smart ones. What did this go to? There's like a a bunch of bracket things on top. Connections, yeah. Wow, that is so cool. Yeah, my shovel got it there. Yeah, that's not too bad. It could have been worse. Wow. There's These things carry all the way around. It like hooked onto something. Yeah. Cool. Guys, you know that is cool. I am glad that we stayed out for that extra couple digs. And that'll be our last dig for today. Yeah, my hands are cold. That's the grand finale right there. That is awesome. I can't wait to clean that up. Yep. Grand Rapids, Michigan. So what is it, guys? That is awesome. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> Who knew that was in the dirt here? I know. Look at I, that. that. We're so used to digging junk that it's just like, uh, pry it up. Who yeah. <laughs> it's usually like a big thick iron plate. That's really neat. Nice. Awesome. So here it is, DeWalt 20 volt metal detector for the win. And we are finding some cool stuff out here today. And if you're new to our channel, we just bought our property in January and it came with this really old 19 100 year old schoolhouse. And we still have a lot of detecting to do on this property. Yeah. We have three acres and, and we, we barely have detected yeah. it so far. So you'll be seeing a lot of detecting videos from us. And, and homesteading. Yeah. We do a bunch of random cool stuff. So I hope you like this. The metal detector is super epic. And we'll see you next time. Take care.